Hey guys, just want to uh, update you on a few things that we're doing here at Income School um, and also give some tips on how to find a great domain name for your website. Um, domain names are getting really, really hard to find. Um, I mean, it's just getting tougher and tougher each year to find something even reasonably okay for a domain name. So we have our sites kind of set for this semester of the Creator Studio. But there's one that we of those sites that we haven't announced. Um, this one I'm really excited about. So it's sevenyearolds.com. And we also own sevenyearold.com. Um, so the idea for this is I saw somebody posted on YouTube, I can't even remember when, a while ago, that they created a, you know, best gifts kind of website. And I just thought, ah. There are so many of these websites that are just, you know, best gifts for anniversaries, best gifts for this. And it's just such a spammy affiliate play just to have a thousand affiliate links. And I just got to thinking like, I wonder what you could do to, to win some of those rankings of, you know, best gift ideas, but do it in not a cruddy way and actually have a useful website. And so I thought, well, what if we come at it at an angle? And I thought, well, okay, we can have this kids website. And I thought, kids, that's so general. You're going to be working with so many parenting uh, kind of websites that you're, uh, you're competing against. And then I thought, well, what if we make a website just dedicated to one specific age? And both Ricky and I have seven-year-old kids. And so uh, we made sevenyearolds.com. And just one of the articles, or well, a few, two or three of the articles are, you know, best gift ideas for a seven-year-old, best gift ideas for a seven-year-old boy, seven-year-old girl, uh, etc. So we have just a few articles on that, but most of the content by far is just questions that people would Google about a seven-year-old. Um, and so the Creator Studio is already working on the site. You're going to see articles starting to pop up on sevenyearolds.com. And it's, you know, it's, uh, can a seven-year-old take ibuprofen? Um, should a seven-year-old know how to read? What grade is a seven-year-old in? Um, why are seven-year-olds so annoying was one of the Google Auto suggests that I saw. Um, just, I think we have like 100, 134 articles, I think, that are going to be coming up on this site uh, in like the next two weeks. And so we're pretty excited about that one. Um, so we bought also five-year-olds.com, six-year-olds.com, seven-year-olds.com, everything like from four to 11, I think we bought. Uh, 12, we figure, and eh, people are going to start searching teenager, preteen, something like that in there. So we just did the, you know, number ages that people usually go by. So we're going to be building out all of those over the course of time. Right now, we did buy all the domain names. Um because we see the potential for it, but we're, we're trying to be really careful with the, with the creator studio that we're nervous that we're gonna get stuck in one rabbit hole and then find out something that we didn't know about it. Like sevenyearolds.com, like, we don't know. There is some medical content on there. We've never done medical content. Um, you know, we're learning some things, so I don't wanna spend three months of the creator studio and just build them all out immediately and then later on, you know, find out and eh, it didn't quite work out how we imagined. So we're gonna build one now, probably wait a few months, build another, and then once we start to see some data back, maybe three, four months from now, we're just gonna go crazy and build all the ages. So then, at, so we got that one set, sevenyearolds.com, that's the last site we're gonna be building in the Creator Studio before Christmas time. But starting in January, we need a whole new set of websites. And so, <sighs> We got a domain name that I'm excited about. It's workprep.com. Um, eight letter domain name is incredibly, incredibly hard to get right now. I think I remember seeing anything seven characters or fewer, they're all taken, all of them. Seven characters or fewer, any weird combination. Um, but this one's eight characters and you know it's work prep. It's, it's about just finding a career or how to get the skills to be able to get in a career. So we'll be targeting keywords like, um, how much do lawyers make? How, what educational requirements are there to become a lawyer? Um, do you have to be a man to be a firefighter? Just anything that people could ask 
about different careers. And then we're going to write that content. So we're, we're picturing this site. We've already done the keyword research for a lot of it. And we're talking about a, a site that will eventually have 5,000 articles on it. I mean, a megalith of a website. Uh, so we wanted to get a good domain name. So how did we get it? Oh, and then the other one we got yesterday, what was it? Outdoortroop.com. And we also got outdoortroops.com. Um, so let's talk about, um, about how to get a good domain name. Um, I usually do my searching on my phone uh, for this. There's a really cool app um, that I can't remember the name of. It's, it's a, I'll have to find it and I'll put it in the, in the note just above this, this vlog on the vlog page, what it is. It's for iPhone, I don't know if it's there for Android, but it's really handy. It just makes it really, really fast for searching a domain name. Um, so usually I'll just find a comfy chair and it's like, okay, this is going to take a couple of hours and I start searching. So Ricky and I, we spent four hours yesterday trying to find those domain names. We wanted good ones because these are going to be bigger sites. And um, so what we usually do is first, before we dive into the weeds, we think super global of just like what feeling do we want the, the domain name to have? And then also, aside from the feeling, just what are words that generally describe this topic? Um, and then we'll kind of start mating them up and trying to find combinations of things that could work. And then we'll also find some modifiers, you know, roundtable, HQ, group, troop, um, team, guys, um, enthusiasts, fans, etc. And we'll try to just start mating those up and see anything we find. And then we'll just make a note of anything that's okay as we go. These days, we're spending more money on domain names. Um, we, yeah, we, we just, I see the value in a really good domain name. Um, and so we bought workprep.com was, we were very surprised. It was 500 bucks. And frankly, I could have seen that one been, been 10,000 being that short. Um, and in a very monetizable niche like work uh, or jobs, career, etc. So uh, we looked and looked and looked and we said, you know, we'll spend even if it's a few thousand, we want to get a good one here. Um, and eventually we found that one and we're real happy with it. Uh, we've always wanted to buy manliness.com. That's just been our dream to own that domain name. We got in negotiations to buy it at one point. And the guy wanted 20 grand and we even got up and I was like, okay, what if we paid 10 grand? Um, and he wouldn't take it. Ah, it just made me so mad. I wanted that domain name um, just for all our outdoors and stuff. But it's not even perfect because obviously women are doing outdoor stuff too. And in our outdoor sites, it's about 33% of our traffic is women. And so it would be dumb to go to manliness.com, but I like it. Um, so... Anyway, that's like a few thoughts on uh, on just getting our, our domain name. Yeah, we're paying more. Incomeschool.com, I think I paid. The guy wanted a bunch for it, like $8,000, but I negotiated down and we got it for $2,000 for income school. Um, you know, we're paying more often. We're finding that if we want something that good, that we're going to have to buy it off of somebody. And so for that, I you know, if it shows that it's unavailable, Go to GoDaddy to do the search, um, and GoDaddy they own a lot of domain names, and so I finding that I'm finding that's a good spot to see if it's available as a premium domain or for sale. But like with Income School, somebody owned it and it was just a pretty abandoned site. There wasn't much going on there, and so uh, I just contacted the person directly. Uh, hopefully, they don't have privacy on or they have a contact form, something like that. Before you buy the domain name, if it's one that has been used before, I would take a minute and go to the Wayback Machine um, and just look at what has been on this site, make sure it was nothing super spammy kind of thing uh, in the past, uh, or make sure if it was spammy that at least the domain has been dead for quite a while. Um, and you know, you, you don't wanna start building a site on something with a horrible backlink profile or something like that. Um, but in this case, it was, it was just fine. So that's kind of what we're thinking uh, with our sites. Um, yeah, thanks for joining me in this vlog. See you guys.